Okay, guys, it's Friday, but I'm not doing a flashback Friday today, unfortunately, <clears throat> just because I'm kind of still feeling under the weather. And I've got something else I want to talk about. So, um, and I try to keep these videos kind of around 20, 25 minutes so that they're not so long and it's not taking so much time out of your day. Um, <clears throat> I did sell a couple things and I bought a couple of things. I wanted to show you that first and then I'm going to show you how to sell your garbage on eBay. And I'm not talking about your regular junk. I'm talking about actual garbage. But we'll talk about that more in a minute. So um, I spent about $20 today. And um, I don't know exactly like what the total is that I'll make out of it. Because come on, face it. I'm not that organized. But um, let me show you what I bought. So I got this set of books. And a pretty interesting kind of subject matter. Um, Charles Lindbergh. Like there's these little packs of learning materials with them. I thought they might be good for homeschool or something like that. It's called Aerospace, The Journey of Flight. This is a second edition. There is a third edition and maybe a fourth, but I paid $4 for this entire set and I'm gonna try and get about 30 bucks out of all of those materials here. I do fairly well with homeschool stuff and I really enjoy selling it. So that's what we do. We sell stuff we enjoy. <clears throat> I bought this new in box Conair bath spa and um, it's from 2000 so I mean it's an old one but it's like steel sealed inside so um, I've got this listed for $44.99 and that was two bucks I mean come on that's just awesome bought another one of these um, this is not exactly the same model that I have uh, already listed I have the 702 this is the 703 um, and this one doesn't have like that shredder blade and the stem inside, but I only paid two dollars for this. The, the pusher is worth about nine bucks. This is probably worth twelve to fifteen dollars. The work ball is probably worth about fifteen bucks, and the blade is worth about twenty. So I'll do okay on this. Um, I don't know whether I'll redonate the the uh, actual unit or not I may try to sell it who knows who knows what I'm trying to do but anyway um, in my quest to part stuff out um, I purchased another one of those Hamilton Beach Scoville food processors bought another one of these um, I paid three bucks for it which is probably a little more than I should pay for these because they don't sell that well this one does have a scent story inside it um, it's tested and it works. I probably can get sixteen to eighteen dollars for this plus shipping. And uh, I always test them out by letting it work through a, um, you know, like a scent story, uh, like cycle. So if you don't know about those, inside the the little disc is about six or seven or eight scents different scents and um, basically the motor inside will rotate the scent to the new one and it goes over a heater and which heats up the liquid it's a, a solid when it's cold but it heats it up and makes a liquid kind of like a melt and then a fan blows the um, the scent into the room and um, so it'll have six or eight I don't know how many are in there really I think six and um, so I'll make it go through a cycle funny thing I've got this cold, so I can't really smell. I can smell a little bit, but I'm hoping it's stronger than that. But anyway, um, so I did test it, and it works. And I kind of have a thing for them. I can't lie. But um, so I bought that. I bought these because I have a pal that's into linens. So now I start looking at linens, even though I'm not really into linens, even though I could be, I guess. But it's because she's into linens, I guess. So anyway, I bought this um, really cute sock monkey um, flannel set. This is a um, two pillowcases, and this is a full-size flat sheet. I paid two bucks for all of this. I have this listed. Um, it is a little worn. You know how um, you know how flannel gets, but uh, it's cute subject matter. Another set that was the same size but had the fitted sheet. 
and it and this and it was pink sold for uh, $34.99 I've got this one priced at $24.99 I think and you know two dollar investment let's just see where that goes who knows I don't know let's just see I bought this because I thought it was vintage guess what it isn't but it's um enamel wear and I thought mm, that's kind of cool I like that but uh, I paid a dollar for it this is actually not vintage you can buy these online um, currently made and um, I think I can get about $13 for it shipped and it'll ship first class because it's pretty light but I thought it was pretty you know and it, at first I thought is that some kind of weird colander turns out no it's not it's like a bread bowl or a fruit bowl so anyway I digress they gave me free cucumbers at the little thrift store because you know that's how we got it here in the country um, let's see I got one more thing to show you I did buy a couple of little things for myself but um, most of the $20 I spent for resale you know 20 bucks for all this stuff I can't really complain I got this Fisher Price 1989 um, discovery map so basically it's uh, electronic and it's got these little holes in the map that you can put in this little device and it will give you information about. Um, I paid two bucks for this. Um, this is in the box with the manual. It looks in really good condition. I'm going to try and get about $25 out of this. And that's something I may, I may list that on Etsy as well. So, um, yeah, that's what I bought. Let me show you a couple things I sold. Do you care? Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. Be right back. Okay, so sold five things overnight. One of them is a just a knife that I bought for a dollar that I sold for $13.99. Nothing special. It's upstairs. But um, I listed this yesterday, and this is that Ronco Rotisserie. You know, I kind of buy these when I see them. This is the compact version. It's pretty small, and I did um, cook a chicken in it last week, and um Finally got around to getting it cleaned and everything. Got it listed yesterday. This one came with um, the gloves and like some trussing for chicken and like this basket here and all of those accessories. No manual or anything. I paid $4, $4 or $6 for this. I can't remember. Um, and it sold for $32.99 plus shipping. And you're like, Sarah, that's going to be a pain in the butt to ship. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. But for the mad, crazy profits on these, I'll go ahead and do it. I know that everybody doesn't want to deal with these. But, um, you know, I, I'm willing to. So, And somebody will use it. And obviously somebody wants this because they bought it as soon as I listed it. So um, there's that. I, I paid 75 cents for this, I think. This is an aerial. Remember this hat? Finally sold. I've had it for a few months. And this sold for not a lot. $8.99 plus uh, with shipping. So it'll ship first class. I'll make a couple of bucks on it. But I got to wear it in a video. And I got to have it. And that's what I care about. Anyway. Um, so this atrocious, hideous thing. Um, I did research on this I paid six dollars for this guy and I did research it, but I couldn't find anything that was exactly like it this is painted on it is um, mass-produced probably in the 80s I'm guessing was when this would have been a popular kind of design and I did not know how to price it because what do you do when there's no real comp and I um, I went high I went at $119 on my $6 purchase, and then um, it went through a cycle and um, ended, and I relisted it for $109. Yesterday, I got an offer of $59.99 plus shipping, and they said, hey, I'll, if you'll take the offer, I'll pay immediately. And I like immediately a lot. So because I didn't have a comp, I really didn't know what it was worth anyway, uh, I said, okay, I'll take your money immediately. And so they um, they did pay immediately. So I'm going to get this shipped out. It'll leave tomorrow. But um, I'm really happy about that. So when you don't know what to price an item at, 
you know, if you don't know what to price an ad item at, go high and offer best offer. Um, make sure you've done as much research as you can. There's more than just eBay solds. Look on Google. See if you can find this item on Google anywhere. If you can't, look on PickClick.com, P-I-C-C-L-I-C-K.com, and that's a way to search eBay, and you can search solds there. Um, worth Point, if you know somebody that has a Worth Point subscription, um, see if they can help you out. Uh, there are now apps that are coming out. I don't, I have not used of the, any of them, and I'm not going to tell you any of their names, um, but you can look those up, um, apps for eBay research. But anyway, um, go high, offer best offer, and then take what you're comfortable with. Um, I bought this at an auction with another one and some GI Joes, and this was not the vintage -y stuff. This is probably in the 90s, and it just would not budge. I had it lauded all together. Um, would not budge. I finally just said to heck with it. I relisted this for $6.99 plus shipping and it sold. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I got to ship out. Let's talk about garbage. So I wanted to, um, show you some things that you can sell on eBay that are basically garbage. I mean, most people throw these items away. Um, but there is an opportunity to make money on these. And if you're a frugal kind of person, these will appeal to you. If you're not, these will seem like garbage to you. None of these are going to make you rich, but they may add a little extra income, especially if you're a very um, recycly kind of person. If, you know, if that's something that, that touches you deeply, then these will be things that you'll be interested in. So the first one are big pine cones. And these are big pine cones. They don't have to be big. Um, you can sell all different kinds of pine cones, but I just wanted to point these out. So these are kind of large, three, four inches. And um, these sold for $16.99 with free shipping, but there were 30 pine cones. I bet this person has them all over the place or has access to tons of these. So this is like free money for them. Um, pine cones, is there something that maybe is in your area that is local to you that is um, an, a natural type of item that, you know, you can get your hands on? Maybe it's seashells. Maybe it's, um, I don't know, maybe it's eucalyptus. Maybe it, whatever it is. Um, there may be a market for that. So, you know, use your brainy parts and see what's local to you that you can figure out what to sell. Empty boxes. There is a market for empty boxes, and I wanted to show you a couple of examples of that. Um, and I will tell you an example that I didn't put on here was empty iPhone boxes. Um, there is a market for those. They don't go for a ton because, I mean, they're they're iPhone boxes. But um, they there is a market for those. So if you've got an empty iPhone box, then maybe you've got some money. This is um, a Nintendo uh, NES Deluxe set. It's an empty box. Um, this is something vintagey, but um, this person sold this for fifty nine ninety six for just the box. Is that not crazy? But uh, yeah, just wanted to share that. Here's another. This is not vintage. This is just a few years old. Nintendo Wii U Super Mario Brothers um, box, and sold for fourteen ninety nine. Here's an example: an American doll. American Girl doll box uh, with some of the uh, contents that go with it, $54.99. How about your empty Tiffany box? Um, this one is kind of a, a bigger size one like this. I've sold empty um, Tiffany boxes before. This one sold for $18. And what about you folks that, you know, have these subscriptions and you get these really cute boxes in and you don't want to throw them away because they're too cute, but you don't know what to do with them. Well, this is a collection of 16 of them that sold for $24.99 plus shipping. How about your empty um, wick candles? These are from Bath and Body Works. These are the empty candy candle containers. And these sold for $9.99 plus $12.95 shipping. Isn't that crazy? I think with some of the specials, you can probably buy the candles, three candles for $22 sometimes. So I'm just saying, uh, what about empty baby food jars? 
So this is 50 empty baby food jars that sold for $36.99 with free shipping. So they probably didn't make a, a great deal because these are heavy. But, you know, this is something that would be thrown away or recycled that somebody is going to use for crafts. How about some beer tops? Um, a lot of people collect these. Remember I bought that beer top, lamp, that lamp full of beer caps? And um, those all came from somewhere. But these are just some Pabst Blue Ribbon lids. This is kind of a, a theme. And um, they sold for $11.13 plus shipping. This is garbage. These get thrown away every day in bars. Here's a larger lot. Um, micro brews, that kind of thing. Uh, $12.59 plus shipping for 80 of those. What about these? Okay, I already saved these. These are bottle caps and things like that. Um, I saved these because I know that a school that collects them, so I save them and give them to my sister as she passes them on. But um, this is a lot of 900 of them, and tell me, let me tell you, it does not take that long to collect 900 of them when you are collecting them from everything like milk, uh, bottled water, two liters, you know, the 20 ounces, you will come up with a lot of these quickly. Um, $35.99 with free shipping for these. And these are fairly light. So just another interesting thing that is basically garbage that you could sell. Got broken crayons. Here's three pounds of broken crayons that sold for $14.07. Uh, it was fast and free. This is not going to make you wealthy, but if you don't know what to do with all those broken crayons, this is a place to give get them to somebody that can use them and make a couple of bucks that you can buy new crayons with. What about this? And this is really specific to MAC brand products, but there's a Mac a back to MAC product promotion where they will give you dollars off, coupons, whatever, for your empty MAC uh, containers. So if you've got empty MAC um, makeup containers, you can sell them here on eBay. Um, here's 12 that sold for $24.99. Here's 13 that sold for $22.99. They say they're new. They're clearly not new because they're empty. Um, but anyway, what about empty bottles. There is a market for empty bottles and I've got, I'm going to show you several of these because I just find this fascinating that people want these empty bottles. But here's a Crown Royal set. So it's got the bag, it's got the box and it's got the bottle. $20. Here's another similar situation and you can see that the bottle, that's a terrible picture, but you can see that the bottle is empty. $20. Here's a lot of four Crown Royal bottles that sell for $26.99, plus free shipping, but still, it's garbage. Some Bombay bottles, if you will, $24.98. How about some Absolute? Absolutely! Um, finally, here's a lot of six one-liter bottles of Jack Daniels, empty, of course, for $18. Now, if you wake up and your apartment is filled with bottles like this, you might want to sell them on eBay so you can pay for rehab, but that's just a suggestion. It's your life. Do what you want to. Empty um, egg cartons. I've got about four or five of these sitting on top of my refrigerator right now because I don't really want to put them in the, the trash, and I'm never sure if these will recycle, even though they say recycle on the top. Does my recycler take them? I don't know. So they're just stacked up on top of the refrigerator right now. But it looks like these could be sold on eBay. Do they go for a lot? Not really, but they're garbage to me, and I don't know what to do with them. So here's an idea. Sell them on eBay. And finally, toilet paper rolls. So this is 100 toilet paper rolls that sold for $19.99 with free shipping. But, of course, they don't weigh anything because they're toilet paper rolls. Um, this is also true for... Um, paper towel rolls. You can sell those as well. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys that you can take garbage and sell it on eBay and people actually buy it. If you don't believe me, look up some of this stuff. And one of the things that I didn't show, but is also something that will sell it are two liter, um, 
two liter plastic bottles, empties. You can sell those for crafters as well. I don't sell any of these products, um, but, and this has been talked about before, but I just thought I would bring this to your attention in case you didn't know that these are things that you could sell and that do sell on eBay. Um, with that being said, just remember that the dream works when you do. So keep dreaming and keep working and I'll see you the next time.